it's here. I feel like so many people have been waiting for this planner and I'm super excited because I'm pretty sure Catherine nailed this thing. Um, this planner was created for those of us that use Hobonichis but just didn't love certain things about the Hobonichi or wished they had been a little bit different. Um, Catherine, I feel like, made note of so many little things and tweaked this to be um, a better version. So I'm excited to open it up and share with everybody. I did our, already open it so that I could get, you know, the paper and all of the things out of the way because I personally don't care to watch that. Um, but I just wanted to open it up and go through each section and share it with you. Um, you might not be able to catch this in the camera, but there's like gold sparkles. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if it's just the gold foiling that went into it on the edges of the pages. They're all gold. Um, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't my favorite when I saw the planner coming out, but as it's in my hands, I don't hate it. <laughs> um, it's actually very beautiful. I'm just not like a flashy person. I don't love all of the extra things, but I know so many people do. So you will love this if you're one of those people. It is, it is really pretty. I didn't expect to like the gold on the edges, but, um, so it's called the common planner and it's by Catherine, um, at Sterling Inc on Instagram. She's probably on, um, Facebook too, but I'm not huge on Facebook. So it's a B6. This happens to be the full year. She did um, come out with a half year as well. So you could buy a half year at a time or both, you know, two six month planners at a time. So you didn't have the bulk of one year, but I personally like the bulk of a year altogether. So, okay, let's see. Just, you have the 2023 year at a glance up front. Two blank pages after that that you could fill with whatever you want. Goal breakdown. I, oh, I'm going to try and get this all in the camera. Goal breakdown. Someday, one year, half year, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily. That is very cool. So, I mean, you can't break it down any more than that. That's cool. And then she has a quarterly layout. This is Q1 priorities and then she breaks it down into monthlies I love this vertical layout that's in the Hobonichi cousin as well um, you can utilize it however the heck you want and people people are all over the place with this thing trackers and goals and one a day lines and you know finances it doesn't matter what goes here um, but they're like the options are endless. So Q2, same thing. She has it for Q3 and Q4. That's very cool. I love this layout. I love it. And then it jumps right into monthlies. The lines are really light, which is my very favorite. They're so light. It's the same grid as the Hobonichi as well. It's like the, the broken up dotted grid, which is um, also something I really like about the Hobonichi. There's other notebooks and planners that have um, a solid grid line and I, I don't like them. <laughs> so I'm really glad to see that. The Hobonichi has colored weekend columns. The, um, the headers are colored and the Hobonichi also has um, each month changes the color of the grid and the color of um, like the headers, but this is all just gray. So it's, it's monotone throughout. So if you like those Hobonichi colors, which I do, I don't mind them. Some people really dislike, dislike the colors, but I've never minded them, but this is, this is fine. This is perfect. You can do with this, whatever you want. So she has all of the months going through to January of 2023. No, 
I lied. Yeah, January of 2024, sorry. So you can forward plan one month and then it jumps right into the weeklies. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this so much. So um, the Hobonichi's timeline, this is, seems, this is a little bit smaller. Where's my, oh shoot, I don't even have my Hobonichi next to me. Um, it's in the car because I was gonna leave and then this came and I was like, nope priorities. <laughs> so I came in here to look at this thing first. Um, let's see. I love this. Her timeline goes from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m., which is perfect. Uh, my day personally starts at 5 a.m., but I don't, I don't write much up there anyway. So this is a B6, and the Hobonichi Cousins an A5. So this is a smaller scale, um, so this will be interesting to see how that works for me because it's already pretty small in the Hobonichi, um, in my opinion, and the width of these are obviously scaled down, but I think, I think it's, it might be perfect. I can make it work. <laughs> so every month I believe would be the same. She doesn't have anything in between. It goes straight from... January to February, nothing in between. And then it's the same throughout the year. The pages, let's see, and it goes through to December 31st. I love how light this is. I love how light the print is on here. And then every, okay, so one of the biggest things about the Hobonichi cousin that most people that, I, I can't say most people, most of the complaints that I hear about it though are the dated pages in the back because a lot of people cannot fill them and they can't keep up, uh, myself included. Um, so Catherine has numbered pages back here starting with number one and going all the way through 368. Oh, 369. So they're all undated. You can utilize them however you want. You don't have to keep up day, you know, every single day trying to fill it. I personally don't. In the Hobonichi Cousin that I use now, I end up disregarding the dates altogether. It drives some people batty, but I've come to the point where I don't even see the dates. Like I just don't even see them. Or I just put something directly over them if I'm trying to fill that space. But with this one, you don't have to do that. It's all blank space. The only thing is, um, in my opinion, with everything up here being dated, you do have to keep up with the monthlies up here. Otherwise, you're going to waste the monthlies and you're gonna waste the weeklies, right? So you can't just skip over this week I mean, you can skip over it, but then you've got to move on to the next dated page if the dates bug you. Um, this year in my Hobonichi, I was all over the place in my weeklies too, disregarding the dates. But um, my point is you can only utilize this front, this front, uh, the monthlies and weeklies for the current year, and then you're out of date. So if you don't keep up with these, but you do keep up with the front here, you're still gonna have a lot of wasted pages back here for the current year. I guess you can utilize the rest of the notebook, the rest of the planner for, you know, other things next year or the year after for scratch paper or whatever. But um, if the front wasn't dated as well and you missed a week, then you could still just turn the page, date everything yourself and keep up with it that way. But once you, once you get to, you know, December 31st, you're out, you know, you're just out of date here. But anyway, so my initial thought on this, oh, and it's soft cover. It's so soft and pliable. I mean, there is like, this is so good. I'm gonna put it in a, I'm gonna put it in a cover really quickly. It is so soft and pliable. So this is a B6 Moterm. Um, I got specifically for this notebook so I haven't used it yet let's just see how perfectly it fits 
Um, I know a lot of people like to put their planner covers up in here. I personally don't. I like to keep mine free so I can utilize this pocket for other things if I need it to. Um, I just like to see my planner this way when I open it. So I'm not gonna put that in there, but it would fit just perfectly and it's very easily manipulated. So I think it would fit in any, any cover. Um, this is, again, this is the B6 from Moterm and it fits perfectly. One thing I decided I'm not a fan of with Moterm and a couple other planner covers out there is the back pocket. The first time I saw that and got my first Moterm, I was in love with it. I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've just come to, um, to realize I don't use it and it just makes everything thicker and bulkier and I don't prefer it, but I'm not gonna lie, this cover's beautiful. So if you're looking for a less expensive option, um, Moterm's a good, a good route to go. But anyway, this is about the common planner. <laughs> so, and just an FYI, immediately upon opening it, it lays flat. I really think Catherine nailed this thing. I'm not gonna lie, like there's not anything upon my first impression that I'm like, oh, I wish, you know, oh, this, this isn't good. Some of these pages are sticking together because obviously it's fresh off the press, right? Um, which is awesome, knowing you're the first person to open a notebook and fill the pages. Um, and I, I feel the pages. Anyway, I think Catherine nailed this. I think whoever pre-ordered this is going to absolutely love it. And if you didn't jump on that and you missed the boat, I'm not sure if she's selling them later or if she's going to open up another batch. I have no idea what she's doing with it. Um, but I don't even use that. Where's a pen I use? Uh, I think you're gonna wish you had jumped on board with this because it's, it's so awesome. I'm gonna 